I think we should do like a Baja build with this thing. I say you go ahead and start that thing up, man. Does it have the keyless start? Oh, look at this. It came with a dog whistle. Look at that. Oh, <laughs> oh shoot. What is up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we are here at the original Goon Squad garage. After months of working at the new Goon Squad headquarters, we are finally wrapping that build up. And you know what? It feels good to be back, dude. It dude. feels good to be back just around some cars, man. We got the Lambo. That was such an epic build along with the Viper. And dude, they're a little crusty, dude, man. These are some filthy animals just begging for a wash on this perfect spring day. I think this is the very first day of spring would be perfect for washing a bunch of stuff, especially the trucks that we haven't washed in months, dude. dude. We've been working on the new house building. We haven't washed the trucks. I mean, dude, we are rusty, do, do dude. we know how to wash, dude? Dude, we are rusty. I don't even know what a wrench is. I don't even know what body work is, but you know what? We're going to have to relearn this Dude, stuff. We're going to have quick. to relearn, and I'm just super excited. I think we got it, man, because, man, this is just going to be epic, dude. dude. I'm so ready to get back in. This build that we got is probably the most popular truck in America. This is one of those builds that we've always wanted to get. Ever since we got our very first truck, we've been keeping our eye on this one, and this is going to be super sick, This is going to be the most epic truck build, I believe, on our channel, dude. Day, dude. I, I agree with you 100%, but as of right now, I guess we're just going to roll the footage of Danny TV. He delivered this sucker all the way from Texas a couple Couple weeks ago so it's been sitting but you know what this is going to be a super epic build especially when we build it along with you guys so we're super excited to be back into it but i say we go ahead and present to you guys the brand new wreck 2019 ford f-150 raptor tough one right there dude. dude that was super tough just because of how wide this truck is and those suckers on the side right there were actually like preventing it to just come yeah. right off dude. yeah the trailer fenders were way too tall and this uh, the way it was damaged we actually had to throw the spare tire up front luckily this thing had a full-size spare we threw it up there had to pick up the back end and just like slowly like just slide it off basically dude, dude. yeah with that uh, skid steer right there if we had big bertha out here or big blue dude two seconds man we would have just lifted that whole thing up and just uh, dropped it on the ground but big bertha is out there at our new shop location because we got stuff going on there dude, i would have drove it back here but you know how long it takes just to get from here to there about there, 45 like, minutes 45 minutes for like three miles or something like that dude. which is crazy but anyways we got this sucker off finally it's on the ground on some blocks of course which you get we gotta that's probably the number one thing is to get that axle fixed right yep, there dude. exactly which we haven't even went over the damage because this is going to be like one of those videos that's going to go out like unexpectedly yeah. honestly don't know when this video is yeah, going to go we out don't know. we're trying to work with all these big projects that we got going on but also we want to give you guys some epic content on a on a, on a build dude dude this is such a sick truck right here don't want to talk too much about it but anyways i guess we'll catch you in what a day in a day or so
All right, so I've seen enough, dude. I went around the property, looked at some of the builds, and oh my goodness, it's just heartbreaking, dude, honestly. heartbreaking, dude. man. I can't wait to get our big garage that we're building, the new Goon Squad shop, dude. We're gonna have like everything parked, maybe even do like some like deck to lifts oh, and stuff dude. like that. Dude, In the ground lifts. <laughs> dude, that'd be epic, But dude. you know what? I wanna just at least try to get all these builds up to the new headquarters property up the mountain, dude. Dude, that's gonna be super epic. Can't wait to finish that off, but you know what, man? The main uh, event is the here, main dude. event, a couple days actually turn into a couple, a couple weeks. weeks man but you know what we are here and we are showing you guys this beautiful truck man this is like the ultimate f-150 right here you exactly know I mean? the raptor edition so it's the highest edition f-150 basically a lot wider really don't know too much about it all i know is this sucker can jump it can rip because this is a twin turbo which we're going to get to that a little yeah, bit later twin turbo v6 which is crazy but you know what man let's just do like the original walk around oh, around dude. erect build i mean this is the most perfect corner right here man as dude. you can tell this thing just looks absolutely aggressive look how much that fender comes out by the headlight man that's like three four dude, inches right that there is wide but you know what just popping out to me is the color of the truck honestly that's like one of the main reasons why we just hopped onto this one right yeah, here i mean I, I love all the colors but i think this blue is like the raptor blue this is like what a raptor color should look like right dude, here, dude. I, i'd say this is the best color you could do on almost like any truck dude i love that color dude, right there dude super sick and one of my favorite things about this truck is actually the front end because the headlights the way they have that, that little like c form over there with oh like all these little plastic goodness, things dude. the big ford emblem right there with the little amber lights which i don't know what they're used for they just look good dude, dude. i gotta say dude trx probably copied them right there dude yeah, uh, that's what i was gonna say <laughs> trx has the ones like up here and their little air vent and this thing has an air vent too so i mean this thing is just an awesome beast and our hood looks perfect i mean the front end looks almost perfect we do have a few scratches here and i was looking at this scratch really closely do you see that almost is looks it like fiberglass no it, it i think it's fiberglass that's oh kind of weird goodness. dude so we're gonna have to do some fiberglass repairing the last time we worked on some fiberglass was like the viper dude. oh my goodness fiberglass is a nightmare but look at this is this a big old decal right here and this is plastic or something like yeah, that yeah this dude? is plastic right here i think it's a real vent this big old decal we're probably gonna have to remove these suckers because we're gonna need to repaint this and stuff like that and i wonder if it'll look good without these decals you know I, that I mean? actually looks pretty sick right there it's almost like some sort of like a character to it almost looks like carbon fiber but let's look at this front bumper right quick a full metal bumper right yeah full metal bumper and i think it's, it goes like pretty far back Ooh. you know just whenever you jump jump it doesn't hit your radiator and stuff like that which dude hopefully we can jump something with dude, this we're, thing, honestly you know how there's been a lot of talk about the trx lately that's like the truck right now i think we should try to make this the trx killer dude is dude, that possible i don't know man there's gonna be a lot of work to to kill a trx but who knows man <laughs> those things are pretty fast we're on the lookout for one of those two you know to put it to the test with this one but i think personally my opinion is this thing looks a little bit better you think it looks better dude? I, I think, dude I really like the the new trx how it looks but you know what this has a beast front end it just looks super wide super aggressive almost like this front end better than a, there's a newer yeah, the Raptor, newest right? ford raptor front ends well they are, their headlights are like super long and like kind of wide they kind of look a little bit different i guess it'll just have to grow on you but i think this is the best raptor addition they made right here i mean just all the way around i mean right here is our damage in the front as you can tell that is fiberglass too so the Ooh. fenders are fiberglass that's going to be crazy right there we're probably going to replace this fender. go wider what if we went wider but it's dude, already so wide dude, dude you can go wider i don't know how wide you want it but dude i wonder if they have these in like carbon fiber oh, dude which my would look goodness. super sick dude. i know they got the flares in carbon fiber that'd look pretty dude, sick but it, if we sick. can get this in carbon and the hood in carbon all, all in carbon dude even just better do it all even do like wider wheels and stuff like that do they like do you lift these trucks i don't really know i know there's people out there that get mad if you lift a ford raptor because it looks of, weird dude. because of how well these things are already built but who knows dude what if we get bigger shocks that way we can oh. jump bigger jumps dude or just make it wider dude Dude, speaking of shocks let's just hop under right right here and look at these shocks we got a full fox shocks dude dude those things look sick they got like that red on it dude those are some legit like shocks on this thing yeah but yep yeah, exactly but i believe a lot of ours are actually damaged on here so let's just keep walking around these wheels are right here are we're gonna probably replace those wheels i don't really yeah, like i that don't look. like those wheels those wheels are definitely ugly maybe you get like some fuels or something like that something that'll look really good or something i don't know dude definitely <laughs> you guys let us know i think this is going to be one of those builds we're going to let a lot of you guys we're going to do polls on instagram allow you guys yeah, to build definitely this thing. follow us on instagram 
Instagram because we're going to do polls on wheels. I mean, fenders, just everything. We want to build it just the way you guys pick it out to be, and we'll see what it turns out to be. Dude, you know what definitely. I mean? I mean, we're going to need a front bumper, so, I mean, you can go ahead and throw that in the comments. Do they have aftermarket bumpers? They do. For they sure dude, do. Man, oh, my goodness. Epic, All right, let's man. keep on walking. So, this fender is going to probably need to be replaced. I don't know if you can fix that. Oh, my God. Dude, look at this door, and this thing is completely aluminum. I, I believe this whole truck is aluminum and fiberglass, so, so that is light. Super dude. lightweight. So, if we even add more carbon to it, it's going to be even faster, Even lighter, dude. even faster, dude. So, we're definitely going to have to get a new door right here. The door handle kind of got jacked up. This is the, like the electronic door Heck handle yeah. so we're gonna have to buy one of those and i believe under here the rocker panel wait is there a rocker panel you can't really see i'm it, not dude. sure i think is there's the door a rocker panel dude what are these things right here rock, ro basically rock sliders i really don't like how these look these are like original factory rock sliders the look. ones that are like on our f450 the factory ones that come out would be sick on this too dude. but i do like the fact that these actually protect from rock sliding true, so true. we need something like that but dude, let's move it right along so here, this dude. door right here it almost looks good but as you can tell right here it does have a little bit of damage we can possibly try to fix this right here which because these doors are really expensive you're looking Ooh, like man. over a thousand dollars a door or something i think like so that. yeah that, that's probably what it's going to be since these are full aluminum but you know what f-150 doors even f-450 doors dude, will that work, f-450 doors will like slap on here and work perfectly all you have to do is like change the mirror and stuff like that but one of the big uh, damages right here is actually this quarter panel which is going to this side dude gonna mean that we're going to have to be cutting this thing out maybe have to pull some of this stuff out we're definitely going to have to take this rear glass out which that's just alone gonna be like a whole entire thing of its own but you know what i'm actually excited to do is like wait is this aluminum this Can is we... aluminum so this is probably all glued onto here oh, dude dang so i wonder if there's any spot welds on there you know what i mean dude, we're so... gonna have to do some more research on that but dude. dude this is this just keeps going i believe they like ran into like a wall or something like that because as you can tell it's like a big old strike right here going out to the back almost looks like like superman just like punched dang, that sucker right man there. they just nicked this pinky right there dude oh hey, my look goodness at this dude the tail light tail is in perfect condition man dang that's good these tail lights seem to be expensive i'm pretty sure they're like a thousand bucks a pop let's see this one both of them Woo, flawless dude, that dude. is awesome but, and the tailgate is a little bit damaged as well right here i mean there's just damage basically 360 degrees on this exactly thing, so we're gonna probably have to get a brand new bed right here probably get a new rear bumper of yeah, course a nice off-roading style or something yeah, like that dude tell, it did get kind of damaged right there dude we're definitely gonna have to do upgraded bumpers look at the exhaust this Let's is one of the, the coolest part of this truck Dang. is they just come straight out the back which definitely gonna have to do an aftermarket exhaust man we're yeah. just gonna have to build this whole entire thing man. which we already started this truck up to get it off the trailer like a couple weeks back and honestly i don't even remember what it sounded dude, like dude. i totally forgot what it sounded like i don't even believe we even revved it because we were kind of scared we had to check all we have to check all the fluids before we do anything yeah, exactly dude. and there's some more damage in this corner before we keep moving i believe the whole entire like uh spindle or something the like the whole spindle i think the axle, axle shaft. shaft and everything is completely broken we just managed to put that wheel on there because we had to get it off the trailer right there and there was actually a full spare underneath the truck that's the wheel that actually came off oh, and dude, yeah. it broke that it broke all that Dang. stuff dude this thing just got hit hard it broke dude. the whole half shaft in half basically dude, dude. half shaft in half <laughs> and uh, i mean as you can tell the bed is still damaged on this side as well i mean this thing almost looks like it's been real rolled over but like when you hop up the up at the top over here let me hop up there oh, with dude, you it has a full sun i done totally forgot Ooh, about that man. a panoramic this is just like the f450 a panoramic sunroof moonroof or whatever you call it that is going to be super sick yeah but you don't notice like any damages up here because i mean it almost looks like this truck did do like a little rollover what if it rolled over but like missed the roof like it landed it, like on floated all over yeah, that dude. that could have been a possibility right there to be honest with you but dang dude we're definitely gonna have to get a brand new bed which is going to be a hefty price right there moving right along no damage to this side of the axle is there no damage we don't know just yet i mean it's all gonna tell whenever you like go onto the frame machine stuff like that but look over here dude do you see that Ooh, dude, that thing Gosh. is just crushed so we do have some damage to some of this suspension so we may have to just go ahead and get a whole new lift kit cool dude. over conversion cool dude over, wait do they have that for these i don't know dude but we're having this is basically i think we should do like a baja build with this thing right here dude, right that would be totally epic maybe do like like we mentioned before i wonder if they have the wider beds too like oh, the bed sides dude, dude that'd be epic dude that'd man. be super sick so let's go to this door right here also a good bit of damage right there and i think we could open this door let's yeah crack this, this door so. definitely opens up right here crack and, this man, look at the oh, interior 
interior, oh, man. Carbon fiber, oh, dude. dude. That is legit, dude. Is that real? Better be real. I hope so, dude. <laughs> we need we need all the weight reduction possible here. And it looks like there's some sort of body damage right here as yeah, well. Yeah, there is some rocker damage right there that we're going to have to do. So basically, this truck is definitely look like it's going to have to get a whole entire paint job. Dude. Yeah, definitely. Going to probably have to we definitely want to paint it probably the same color or should we change the color? Let us know, dude, guys. Who knows, man? There's some pretty slick colors out there, but the blue right now is probably my favorite right exactly. here. Is this door damaged right dude, here, dude? This door looks like to be one of the most perfect doors on this truck, and that is just a good thing. This is the driver door. There is a little yeah. dinger right there. That can be fixed. So there's yeah. one good door on here, one good mirror. Is this one fender good, good? One good fender and one good hood. So the rest of this stuff is just completely damaged. So we're going to need basically three doors, a whole bed, a, the like the bumper, that fender. I mean, this thing just got beat up. It's, it's basically like a cabbage, dude. <laughs> basically, dude. But I noticed this is all just body damage. Is there any frame damage? Dude, that's one of the biggest things whenever we we're buying this thing. We we're looking through all the like pictures and stuff like that just to make sure there's uh, there's no frame damage at all because of how much body damage you don't really want to do frame work with a lot of body work you know what exactly I mean? and it appears that there's not any frame damage at all but it's going to come down to taking stuff apart which like we like to do we're going to pop that whole entire bed off pop all the doors off pop the front end off right Dang, pop everything off just go ahead and completely strip this thing and just i wonder if it'll drive after that dude dude i don't know put it to the test but any, what do you want to do right now we could either hop inside start the sucker up or we could pop the hood and check out what's what's it working hey, with before dude. we started up we do have to pop the hood to check like all the like fluids and stuff like that who knows man this engine could be bad you know Ooh. we, we all the oil could have been out of it when we started well, it could have blew up dude <laughs> dude i don't know it's not, it actually sounded good when we started it did hey, let's go ahead and pop the let's hood just first. do that let's yeah go let's go ahead. so we're gonna go ahead and open the hood i guess it's just like the original force the lights came on. Ooh, the headlight even came on there. Let's pop this hood. Amber lights. Those dude, are legit. I like that. Man. That's a vibe right there, dude. Pop right. that sucker open. Let's see this V6 twin turbo. V6. V6 twin turbo. I'm a little rusty, guys. <laughs> Dang. 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 Almost looks like a V8. Look at that Ford performance. And this is going to have to get changed right here. We're going to do charge pipes, cold air intakes, and all that dude, stuff, dude. All that stuff, man. This is the EcoBoost twin turbo. And I did hear a lot on these engines. These are a lot faster than the, the V8? 5.0 V8s. What? And believe it or not, the 5.0s actually eat less gas than the V6. Really? Dude. So these are less economical than the V8s, which I, 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 I mean, I believe. I mean, you got two turbos you're not you're not gonna drive this thing slowly you know you're what gonna I mean? be always on that gas yes, which sir, is awesome I mean, so you just got a simple setup right here we're definitely gonna change up a few things i mean but the most important thing is we do have coolant in the coolant jar right here where's the oil dipstick oil at dip man stick. This thing, i have man. no oh, idea you got it right let's here. pop it dude hopefully it's nice and clean let's go ahead and check that oil Ooh, Ooh. it's pretty clean right there good level and everything which man. this truck only has three thousand miles on it dude so i don't think maybe it's just like still factory oil change and hey, stuff like that dude. oil change probably still under warranty <laughs> I hope so. But anyways, let's just go ahead, probably hop inside right quick, and then we're going to probably start it last, right? Yeah, let's go ahead and check out the inside. I'm going to try to hack into this thing, dude. Do people even use this anymore? <laughs> I don't dude? think anybody uses that. What is that even for, dude? This is like to in enter without a key, but you know what would be even cooler? A fingerprint, What? Dude. Why haven't they even thought about that, I just dude? thought of that. I just invented that right there, dude. <laughs> I wonder if any cars actually have that, but it does have the keyless entry. Do you have the key on yeah. you, or do you? Yeah, uh, go ahead and just touch it. There it nice. goes, man. Dude, let's go inside into the main driver area right here. The cockpit the right co here. Dude, look at these paddle shifters, dude. Uh, dude, I didn't even know it had paddle shifters. Are those suckers aluminum, dude? Those they look feel clean. aluminum. Look at the steering wheel, oh, man. Dude, the steering wheel feels nice and stout. It's like thick. You know, you got that red stripe on the top right there. You got the Ford Performance right there. You got all the Raptor mats. Oh, my dude, goodness. Dude, those are the dude. legit mats, too. You know, those are the rubber mats, man. Dude, look at this. You got lights on your, I'm guessing, on your mirrors and all that good stuff you got carbon look at more all the car carbon dude more Let's go carbon ahead. on the shifter knob Dang. you got carbon on this little cover right here but it looks just like the f-450 in here other than like some extra carbon accents right there dude, dude. that's the that's the most important thing is carbon fiber because as you guys know we do kind of love carbon fiber dude, man <laughs> everybody, i think everybody loves carbon fiber it's just nice dude it looks cool and it just makes your car dude, faster, look at the dude. back of the seat right there i Let's love that that. that looks Ooh. good man these seats actually look super sick they look yeah. like a 
racing seats. Exactly. Dude. Yeah, they feel like like a bolstered or whatever. Is that the word? That yeah, you bolstered use? seats. I don't know lumbar support. All lumbar that stuff, support, man. Dude, that is super sick. So far, dude, this just feels amazing, dude. I'm ready to rip this thing, dude. Dude, course, the sunroof and the, all that's that stuff. That's what I was looking dude. at, dude. I absolutely love that right there. Same setup here as the F450. Once again, got some extra parts up in here, dude. That's just sick. Should I just start this thing up or should we go to the back end right quick, dude? dude? I say you go ahead and start that thing up, man. Does it have the keyless start? Oh, look at this. It came with a dog whistle. Look at that. Oh, <laughs> oh shoot. I shouldn't have done that right there, dude. But anyways, I guess uh, go to the back. And or I'm just gonna... just start off right here. We want to go ahead and just listen to it. Go All ahead right. and hit her up. I'm going to do a little countdown. Five, four, three, two. I can't hear it, dude. It was silent. Check out this dash. Okay. Hey, man, that thing actually does sound a little bit good. It kind of like rumbles, dude. Hey, look at that dash, dude. We got a full tank of gas, almost a full tank of gas, half, like 75% of gas. We got good oil. Dang, look Park at brake limited. Just go ahead and scroll through all this stuff. I mean, we, there's a lot dude, of stuff, dude. This is sick. Should I rev it or should I give it some time to warm up? I don't know, man. I say go ahead and cold rev it, man. Ooh. Dude, I can hear the turp skis up Hey, front, it does dude. pop a little bit too, dude. That. Hold on. Rev that one more time. Woo! Dang. Dude, that thing actually does not sound bad, That's dude. what I'm saying. For a bone stock, a Raptor right there, that sounds pretty dang good. But you know what? We're definitely going to make this thing far from stock. Let's hop into the back end over here right quick. See if there's anything good up in here. Dude, I love how there's like leather in the center. And then you got like this stuff right here, like hexagons, which is pretty dang cool. And also look at the mat back here. You got a full mat. Let me hop up. Dude, I'm definitely dude. digging like the rubber mats and stuff. Definitely going to protect your carpet and stuff like that. But dude, this interior is pretty filthy though. Dude, you know what I mean? Super filthy. I can't wait to actually clean this sucker up. Pretty roomy up in here, dude. Dude, is it as big as the F450 in the back? Dude, is same that exact. I think they actually use the same exact body. Tub, dude. Or the tub. Yeah, yeah dude, dude. That is just crazy. But of course you got the heated seats back here. You got the charger reports you got a whole entire socket up here and speaking of socket are these uh did what? this come with a truck or are these danny tvs i don't right know here? man i think they came with the truck definitely they <laughs> came with the truck out there but it got all these other tools that we used to actually when we were unloading it but that's pretty much it for the interior i think we're gonna keep the interior stock because it's super sick but as far as the exterior goes dude we're just gonna go ham dude. unlimited man unlimited so here it is, man, the tw a 2019 Ford F-150 Raptor. The build is going to begin. We need to start ordering parts. We need to first get this thing driving, dude. Yeah, that's the number one thing is to order the actual parts, order the suspension parts and stuff like that because I don't think this thing will even, like, move without, like, turning turning sideways or we something like that. We can try it, dude. We can try to we move it. We can easily try it, dude. <laughs> but we're going to probably buy all dealership parts. That's the way that we like to do it because parts are going to be fast. I mean, there is cheaper alternatives like eBay and stuff like that. Unless it's, like, upgraded parts, like up upgraded like actual oh, shaft or something exactly, like that or dude. upgraded like uh brakes or anything man yeah, exactly but there you have it guys that's a brand new build we're super excited and it's definitely going to be a super epic one and i can't wait to just dive right in dig in i don't know if we're going to wash it in this video but definitely in the next video we're going to give this thing a complete wash maybe start tearing it down and start ordering parts so definitely make sure your post notifications are on so you don't miss out on anything and definitely give us a follow on instagram where we're going to be doing a bunch of polls just getting your guys' advice but with all that being said thank you guys so much for all the love and support be sure to drop your comments and thoughts down below and we'll catch you guys next time peace